Good job. Good job. Good job. I feel like when we look back on our time in London, we're just gonna think of Hyde Park and how much time we spent here. Mommy! Yeah. Nice. You wanna catch? Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes. We are Heath and Alyssa. Our favorite way to explore a country is to rent a motorhome and find the off-beaten paths to explore with our two kids. In this series, we'll be bringing you along for the ride as we experience the amazing ups and downs of motorhoming across the English and Welsh countryside. That was the smallest road I've ever driven in my entire life. Not even close. And we're planning to stop at a few pubs along the way. Okay, maybe more than a few. Does America count? Mm. Sure. All 50 states, I feel like that counts. Yeah. Okay. America, Canada, New Zealand, Italy, France, Switzerland. Does Monaco count? I'm glad that you remember all these because I don't. Andorra, Spain, Japan. This is 11. The 11th country for us to do an RV road trip across begins today. But does England count as 11 and Wales counts as 12? <laughs> or do we just count the UK as one? Everything that I've learned about the UK and the countries and the way they're set up, I've basically learned from Welcome to Wrexham or Ted Lasso. Yeah. But it does seem like they're two different countries. They're part of the UK, so I think it counts. But today we have a two hour train ride out of the city of London to go pick up our RV. We're gonna take a cab to a train to a guy named Matt. It's gonna pick us up hopefully and drive us 15 more minutes and then we'll get to our motorhome and then we'll try to figure out where we're going to be camping. But for the next two weeks, we're going to be driving an RV across the UK. And we have two minutes to get downstairs and catch a cab, so let's go. Let's go. I can't see it, but my parents are on this trip with us. They're uh, over there, there's dad, and mom's over there. We made it by the skin of our teeth. We were jogging. That is super cool. <laughs> Coco Melon trademarks in 90% of our videos. <laughs> Today we are picking up our motorhome rental from Niche Motorhomes. You know, I personally say niche, but I saw the actual pronunciation on the motorhome site, so this is niche. <laughs> Did you feel it that time? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Dad, how are you feeling about driving on uh, the wrong side, the different side of the road? I've done that before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> we'll see how today goes. Good? <laughs> we got everything! <laughs> We made it off the train. Bye bye train station. We just got to the pickup location, which is in the barn. So it's our first time to be picking up a RV in a barn. Guys, okay, gonna be good living in this for two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot to tell you, the kids are singing y'all. Okay. <laughs> They sleep all night. <laughs> first things uh, first with these is the, the handbrake. Matt from Niche Motorhomes gave us a walkthrough of the RV we'd be living in for the next two weeks and how to operate all the different systems and somehow managed to hold the attention of Ellie and Eli for more than 30 seconds. Yeah, this one's ours. This one's ours. These motorhomes are so nice. They're so modern, but they're really white on the inside. And I'm hoping they're white on the inside when we return home. Got to angle it a little bit, but this will fit in. Ellie, can you show me the inside of our RV? Mm -hmm. All right, welcome in. We have the dining area slash car seat area slash our, our bed. This is a very angled 
and gold to bed. The kitchen. I've already peeked in some of these cabinets and it's a very well stocked kitchen. Like there's like a timer in there and all sorts of utensils. So maybe hey, we'll actually hey, cook hey, and hey, not hey, just hey. eat at pubs. Thank you. Hey, mommy, look yeah. At the toilet oh, let's go look in the toilet bathroom. I really love, it's a weird thing to love. I love Hi. having the open shower. Hello. How did I get in here? How did you get in here? I can't believe it. I'm thinking this will be the kid's bedroom. They get the master suite. My parents are in their RV. They said, can we help with anything? I said, yeah, take the kids. We'll unload everything over here. So this is just luxurious. Thanks, mom and dad. After a morning where we hauled all of our bags and everything through the train stations and in a cab, it was a very good reminder for why we love traveling by motorhome when we go on a vacation or a trip like this, because we're unloading in here and this is just gonna be our home for the next couple weeks. No more hauling bags around. Yep. It's gonna be great. It's so nice to sleep in the same bed every night and to have access to a kitchen. Also, a this is more spacious than our hotel room in London. Yeah. We have everything unpacked. We're packed into the RVs and we're ready to go. Houston, so I got all my keys stuck in my back. And we're off. I was about to be like, you're on the wrong side of the road. I'm already confused. Oh! Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Starting off at some small roads in the UK. Living up to their reputation. <laughs> Oh, it's happening. One thing everyone told us about driving an RV in England was just how small the roads are. This is something we were about to experience firsthand. How was your first time driving on UK roads? <laughs> <laughs> kind of skinny. <laughs> well, the first Brit stop we couldn't find, but this one we actually showed up to and we fit in the parking lot. So we're going to go get some dinner and a much deserved drink. Well, I've got you here. Let me explain what a Brit stop is and why you'll be hearing about them more throughout our UK series. I got a sweet and a medium dry because I didn't know what you wanted. Do you want sweeter or drier? I don't, I'll do drier. All right, that one's really good. Thank you. First, they are sponsoring our road trip across the UK. Thanks guys. Second, Brit Stops is an amazing membership where you can camp at over 1,100 wineries, pubs, farms, and other small businesses across the UK. While in the UK, Brit Stops is what we use for 90% of our nightly stopovers, and we not only had some of the best meals, but also some incredible campsites. To learn more, you can visit BritStops.com. Okay, back to the video. Can I just like, more? yours is so much better than mine. Really? Yeah, well I ordered that one for you, but then you took mine. You didn't tell me that. You just asked me which one I wanted. Yeah, and I was wrong. I don't even know you as a person. I thought Heath always wants the sweet one. Ready, set, go. If we could exclusively find places where we could eat outside, that would be the dream. Because the weather is perfect and the kids can run, which is what Ellie's doing right now. What do you think Ellie's gonna think when she watches this when she's older? Hey. Thank you. Good thing I'm a glue mm. the This is our very first bridge stop location. And it is it was built in the 17th century. The inside is amazing. The cider is incredible. I wasn't sure what type of peas to order. They asked me what type of peas and I said just regular. They're like, well we have regular, we have mushy peas. So I got mushy peas. I wasn't sure. I mean, they just look more yeah, smashed. Yeah, those are the two options, like mushed or non-mushed. I didn't know. I didn't never heard of mush hey, peas, but I got mushed peas with my fish and chips, and looks amazing. I ordered blindly off the gluten-free menu. There's something called Hunter's Chicken, and I figured there's chicken. That's enough to go on. But look at how pretty this is. It's bacon and cheese and barbecue sauce. It's the dream. very first pub stop in the UK was awesome. Our final destination tonight is something called a craft center and it has a restaurant on site 
and I don't totally get what I it is. I don't understand it either, but it's also a Brit stop location. Hey guys, we're pulling up. <laughs> Jenny Ring, we're here. That one. Probably Look the at glasses. these glass ornaments. Oh, they blew glass here. <gasps> you know I love glass. Hi, Malcolm. Um, you haven't been here before, you said? We have not, not. no, sir. The American? Yes. We are. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Park wherever you like. Okay. No problem at all. Um, there is a track going down that end. Some people have been tempted to go down it. Please don't. Okay. <laughs> okay. Should you have an emergency and you need to get out, the code is 1066. Got it. 1066? Yes. You can remember that? Yes. Okay. It's an important historical year. It, I like you. <laughs> you can now become an honorary British. Yes. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> More than that. Thank you so much, Malcolm. Where should we park, Ellie? There. I think that he said there's donkeys over here. Yeah. You wanna go see him? Yeah. Pretty amazing little campsite for the night. He said he's gonna close up the gate for us and they open at 10 o'clock tomorrow. So we can uh, grab some breakfast before we hit the road. Hi. <laughs> I'm really glad that we decided not to stay at the pub tonight. Cause the pub, like we're just in like a parking lot and we're in a parking lot here, but there's just these beautiful gardens. He's like, yeah, go walk, explore the gardens. We got ducks, we got horses, we got donkeys. So we're just gonna explore this beautiful piece of land. I'm looking at mountains right now. We're about to have a gorgeous sunset. It's the perfect, peaceful, idyllic little campsite to start our road trip. Eli sprinting towards the ducks. <laughs> oh yeah. 